What's up everyone? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel where we like to review games by sharing our impressions and how we play the game. And the game we are reviewing today is Mighty Switch Force Collection for the Xbox. Mighty Switch Force is developed and published by WayForward and it is also available on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. As we said before, this is a collection, so we got four games in one. We have Mighty Switch Force, which is a pixelated version of this game, the first version. Mighty Switch Force 2, which is a different scenery with fire. Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, which is a smoother, cleaner version of Mighty Switch Force 1 and Mighty Switch Force Academy, which is a different storyline and layout. In the first version, Mighty Switch Force, we have about 21 stages to play. We can't play one stage until we unlock the other, so we can't just skip all the way to the end. We have to go by one, two, three, four, etc, etc. And the storyline is, we got escaped prisoners, the Hooligan Sisters, and it is up to Officer Patricia Wagon to collect them throughout Planet Lan. Each stage is a puzzle. We use Patricia Wagon's helmet, the Siren Helmet, to change the layout of the game. We can make the blocks or other objects to be foreground or background. And we utilize it to get to our prisoners so we can take them back or against our enemies. But if we get caught in one of these items where we make it fore or back or solid and we get caught in it, it knocks us out. In the scene before, we saw that the graphics were more pixelated. Now in Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, the graphics are cleaner, simpler, newer. In the Hyperdrive Edition, we have about 41 stages to play a lot more than the first version. The storyline is the same, the way you fight is the same. You use a helmet to change the platforms, layouts, and you use your pellet gun to destroy enemies. In this 2D platformer, controls are very simple. All you need to do is attack with the pellet shooter and utilize the siren helmet to change the layout. Using the pellet shooter, you can take down obstructing enemies and using the siren helmet, you can get your way to one of the hooligan sisters. Now we got Mighty Switch Force 2, which has fire and our weapon of choice is the infinity dowsing apparatus. This has about 16 stages to play. Notice the graphics are pixelated just like the first version. The story of the game is an explosion happened, there's fire everywhere, and it's up to Officer Patricia Wagon to save civilians. Instead of using the pellet shooter as our weapon, we now have the infinity dowsing apparatus. That is a mouthful. But with this, we can use it to take down the flames and we can direct enemies for the puzzles on the stages. Now the puzzles of the stages. We still have the siren helmet to make items foreground or background, clear or solid. And they're really important because we're gonna use these blocks that shoot us up or different directions to get us to our citizens to save. And we're also gonna use these items to defeat enemies. This game requires brain power. You gotta use your wits to figure out how to utilize the items and what you have to get to these citizens. In Mighty Switch Force 2, we have a bonus citizen to save, a baby. And this baby is the toughest to get to. So you really, really gotta figure out, use that brain power to get to that baby. Alrighty, we have next, Mighty Switch Force Academy. This is a totally different layout. This is in Cyber World. It looks like the old school retro style games where you only got like different levels and you gotta get to your goals. 
for this one, the story is our character. She's about to take an exam and then something happens. We got this Tron moment. If you don't know what Tron is, Google it. So we get this moment where our character gets transported into cyber world. So this is the cyber world. Over here, we have to get to our hooligan sisters. Same storyline as the first version. We still have the pellet shooter to defeat our enemies. And we still have the siren helmet to utilize the blocks to make them foreground or background to get to our hooligan sisters. Now what's interesting here is the side areas. The side areas are just like the retro games where when you enter one way, you can come out from the other. Another unique thing about Mighty Switch Force Academy is we got story mode and versus mode. Versus mode enables us to play up to four players. When we're in versus mode, we can change the color of our officer, which I found really interesting because I can make my officer pink. All right, so now that we mentioned all the games in this collection, let's talk about other things. Now this is a puzzle platform where you gotta use your brain to figure out how to get to the civilians or the hooligan sisters and utilize your enemies. There are gonna be some puzzles where you gotta defeat your enemy and to defeat your enemy, you can't use the infinity dowsing apparatus or the pellet shooter. You have to find a way to get them trapped in a block or just push them off a ledge where there's spikes and other things. Next thing I want to mention is the timing located on the top left corner. Now if you see there is a set time that is the goal time to make it there or below. And then there is a clock ticking, ticking, ticking on your own time. Now this is great for speedrunners. If you want to beat that goal or meet it, there you go. Or if you want to challenge yourself, see how fast you can clear that stage like I was trying to do. It is a great motivator, a great challenge, something to satisfy yourself. Ooh, it feels good to beat your score. The other thing for me was that I saw the time. I saw how fast it could be completed and I never beat it at that time. I was always over and I always try to wonder figure out how do I beat that time? How how am I supposed to get to all of these people in that time? How is it possible? And that was our Super Fina review of Mighty Switch Force Collection for the Xbox developed and published by WayForward. Now this game is also available on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and PC. If you like this, don't forget to give it a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe and opt for that notification on future uploads. Now, if you also have any questions, comments, opinions about this game, please leave them in the comments below. We are also available on Instagram and Twitter at Lehua Superfina. And we stream on twitch.tv slash superfina on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time and Saturdays, 9.30 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like this. My name is Lehua and this was a Superfina review of Mighty Switch Force Collection for the Xbox. Until next time, everyone. Bye!